Girders from the North Tower of the World Trade Center, weighing about four tons each, were found in the Winter Garden 600 feet away after the towers collapsed. How fast must they have been thrown to land that far away? That depends on what part of the building they came from. This simulation computes the necessary ejection speed for various starting heights to make the girders land where they did. Note that if the girders originated high in the building near the airplane impact point, they would have had to be ejected at close to 50 miles per hour. However, the building wasn't falling very fast at the start. However, if they came from lower in the building, when the building was falling faster, they would have had to be ejected at still higher speeds to land 600 feet away. This is not a conspiracy theory. In fact, this isn't a theory at all. It's simply the laws of physics applied to direct observations. But facts cry out for theories. The proper role of theory is to explain the observed facts. What could possibly provide the horizontal push needed to throw four-ton girders a distance of two football fields? Air squeezed from between the collapsing floors might puff out the dust, but surely not huge steel girders. The official explanations for the collapse of the World Trade Center fail to account for what is plainly observed. Forces besides gravity must have been at work on that day. A much more plausible theory, and one that is consistent with many other observed facts, is that the girders were blown out not by air squeezed from between the floors, but by explosive charges that were set in the buildings ahead of time. The government would like you to believe 9-11 is a conspiracy of Al-Qaeda operatives who hate our freedom. However, the facts of 9-11 point to a conspiracy of insiders who had access to the infrastructure of the buildings, the ability to coordinate the demolitions with the airplane collisions, the ability to cause a stand-down of our air defenses, and the ability to orchestrate a massive cover-up. If you don't like these conclusions, you can reject the theories, but you can't reject the facts. You might try pondering how four-ton steel girders ended up 600 feet from the base of the World Trade Center. Watch the many video clips showing the volcano-like eruptions as the buildings collapsed. If you want to learn more, you might start at 911speakout.org.